Welcome to a world where you can learn about real life in a setting that is alive and growing just like you are. From everyday people who may never have teaching certificates, but all have Use something this day to learn offer. from or teach in something to where everyone is a you. student and everyone is a teacher. This is the One Room Schoolhouse. Amigos? Good morning. I thought I'd just go ahead. Let's just do Spanish all the time. See? ¿Quieren hacer español todo el día? Yeah? No? No, come on. How much, how much fun did we have doing Spanish on Friday? I loved it. I love doing Spanish. Good morning to our friends at home. Let's do Spanish all day. I know. Let's do Spanish all day. Well, guess what? We are working on doing Spanish once a week, a good solid lesson that, so that we all can learn here and our friends at home can learn some really good Spanish. Does that sound good? So even if you missed a day, that's okay because we, will, we have a whole year of Espanol, right? All righty, good morning. It is Monday. Did everyone have a good weekend? Yeah. Yes, I did too. I did some relaxing, I did some laundry, but I have missed you guys. When I am home on the weekends, I sure do miss you guys, so I am glad to be back for Monday. We have a big, big, big day today. We've got a lot of stuff to get done. We have a very special guest teacher today. I feel like every day we've had really, really great guest teachers, and today is no different. We have a wonderful one that's not going to be in this room. I don't know. I don't know. Yes, Aiden. I don't know, buddy. I, I, I got to plan a field trip, don't I? I got a lot of stuff on my list to plan for, for fun for, for this school. So I will get on that really quick. Okay, listen up. Oh, I want all of our friends to be able to hear. So I want all mouths closed, whole body listening, everyone looking up here. So I can see your beautiful faces. I want to see all the beautiful faces in this room. My friend Isaiah, your face is beautiful too. I want to see it. Okay? Beautiful, wonderful. Alrighty, my friends in class, can you guys say hi to our friends at home? Just give them a, a big wave. They're joining us every day. I don't even know if you guys realize that they can see us and they're joining us because they're part of this classroom even though they're not in here, part of the class. Isn't that so fun? Yeah. So it's great. We love technology, don't we? Okay. We've got a big class today with our guest teacher, so we're gonna, we're gonna get with it, okay? So, we are going to do our Pledge of Allegiance. I want everyone to stand up. Stand up and face the flag. Right hand over heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Alrighty, everyone sit down on your bottoms, please. I want feet in front of you and eyes up here, just so I can see that everyone's ready. Because how do I know you guys are ready? When you're what? When you're sitting down facing me. Let's put our feet down so that we don't fall on accident. Our bottoms on the chairs. Alrighty, what do we do next? Our morning prayer. prayer. Magnolia, come on up, sis. Yes. Come on up, Magnolia. Let's all bow our heads, eyes closed. Friends at home, join us. Thank you, Lord, for this day, and I hope that we have a great rest of our day in that um, the, our friends at home are enjoying this and Amen. Amen. Very sweet. We do hope that our friends at home are enjoying our classes, don't we? I think they are. I think just like you guys enjoy um, being here, I think our friends at home enjoy it as well. All righty. Are you guys ready to find out what we're going to do today? Yes. Yes. Okay, guess what? Guess where we're going for our guest teacher? What? Guess where we're moving into? What room are we moving into? Wow, well, man, you guys have you guys have some high expectations <laughs> expectations of me. We are not. Listen, hold on, hold on. I know we love going to Marcy Joe's, and we will take a field trip there. We're not going to take a field trip to Marcy Joe's today, and we're not going to go to Aunt Marcy's house today because Aunt Marcy came to us. Are you guys ready? Yeah. 
to form a line and when I call you and we are going to go in the kitchen and we are going to begin our guest teacher hour. Are you guys ready? Yes. I want your best manners because, listen, because today we're going to be joining alongside and actually cooking. Line up in front of me. Come over here, CJ. All right, we're waiting for all of our friends to be ready. Now listen, it's very important, it's very important that when you guys sit down in front of a bowl that you do not touch what's in front of you. I want hands in your lap, okay, until we get very good directions. Yes, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Okay, friends at home, come along with us. Let's go. Can you guys say hello to Aunt Marcy? Go on down there, CJ. Josh, you're on this side. Go on down. Go on, you guys can go. Find a bowl, say hi to our friend at Marcy. Go, go, go. Okay, you guys find a seat. Hi. Hi. Okay, y'all get on in. Find a seat in front of a bowl and put your hands, put your hands in your lap. Indiana, come over here. Hey, Josh. Louie, there's over there. Perfect. Louie, there's one right there next to Mackenzie. All right, everyone say buenos dias to Aunt Marcy. Buenos dias. How are you guys this morning? Are you excited? Yeah. Do you guys like to cook? Yeah. Oh, good. You have? I saw that on TV. So this is a mixer. We use a lot of this to bake with at the restaurant. If you guys ever have any questions, just let me know. But today, we're going to make pecan sticky buns. Miss Rebecca's going to help me. She's going to be the reader and then we're I'm going to make it. You guys are going to help me. It's going to be a lot a lot of fun. Yeah, so hold on. Don't Ooh, yes. touch what's in front of you yet. Now, I want to say to our friends our, where are our friends at home right here over here. Can you say hi to our friends at home? Hi. Wherever they are. Um I do want to say that this is a hold on. This is a very special treat because do we normally eat sugar here? We are a sugar-free school, but Aunt Marcy makes the best sticky buns. So we thought, what a special treat. We've worked so hard these last few weeks, haven't we, that today is a special treat, okay? It's very important here in the class that for you guys to know what to do, you have to pay attention with your ears, okay? All righty. And Aunt Marcy, anything you need from me, you just let me know. I'm going to give you the cookbook. This is the Marcy Joe's cookbook. Ooh. Me and Joey, which is Indiana's mama, did this, uh, made this. This is all our recipes. That's right, mommy. So anyway, this is going to be the angel biscuit recipe that we're going to do today. What is the recipe? So what does that tell you in that recipe book? So basically, it kind of tells you everything like like what we're going to do. I'm going to have you read it. And then I've got pretty much, I hope every, it's been a minute since I've made this. So, so what you're saying <laughs> this is going to be fun. You're not just throwing stuff in. You actually follow directions. Yes. Yes. Follow directions. Yes. Love it. Love it. Love it. And All I've right. got everything measured out at home. At home, I normally just kind of throw it all together, but we're going to... I love it. All righty, you guys, pay attention. Hands in your lap so you don't accidentally spill anything. All righty. But first, I want you to let, introduce me because there's new kids this year, yes. and I haven't met everybody, so yes. I would love... So I want you guys to go around really quick and just tell Aunt Marcy your name. Magnolia. I love Aiden. Aiden. What's your name, friend? What's your name? Caleb. Caleb. Jalen. Isaiah. Henry. Isaiah. Mackenzie. Louie. CJ. Aubrey. Autumn. And this Dustin. is Aunt Marcy. Now, you, my friends, I don't know if you've actually met her yet, but we've been to her house a couple times because yes. she is the one that has the ducks that she let us come visit. The yes. Other day. All the ducks and ducks. the chickens. Mm -hmm. Aren't they fun? Oh, yes. They're loud. <laughs> yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. That's awesome. I yeah. love that. All right. Okay, all righty. So, so let me help you here. Yep. We're going to do angel biscuits first because in order to make the pecan sticky buns, we got to make biscuits. And then once we make the biscuits, we'll skip over to the sticky bun part. All righty. So the first thing we're going to do, and so now you're going to do this part while they watch you. Yes. And then you're going to get And them then when we to get do. to the point of doing the sticky buns, I'm going to get the guys to help. And just real quick before I forget, 
our friends at home who are watching, sure. how, how do they get these so they know what to do? Where can they find these? So you go to, I guess, Marcy Joe's or Joey and Rory, right? Okay, okay I so think online so. they can yeah. probably yeah. order these, or mm -hmm. if you guys are in town visiting, you guys can get them at the store. Yes. Okay. Yes. So the first thing we're going to do <laughs> is mix the dry ingredients in a large mixing bowl. So okay. we have five cups of flour. Yeah, which I already got in here. Perfect. Very good. Okay, so we're go. going to do the dry ones first. So we have five cups of flour, three is that tablespoons of sugar. Three tablespoons of sugar. Got it right here. All righty. Two teaspoons of salt. Salt. Got it. Um, one teaspoon of soda. Baking soda. Got it. Three tablespoons of baking powder. Perfect. And I and think yep. that's it for now. So while that's mixing, mix this up just mm -hmm. a little bit faster and get it going. <laughs> this way you don't have to mix with your arm and get it all tired, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then it says in a small bowl, dissolve the yeast in warm water, which is two. Which I did of that. Oh, perfect. It's already bubbling up. So you guys see this? Yeah. This the has yeast. got just the little bit of the dry yeast in warm water. We're gonna add that, right? Does it say Stir add now? with the spoon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Add that in. Okay. Okay. Let's see. It says, meanwhile, cut the shortening into. Let's see. So you have cut the shortening into the dry ingredients using a pastry cutter or two butter knives. Which I'm actually just gonna put it right in here. Yeah. This is butter. This is the good stuff. Butter Crisco. And she's adding three, about three fourth cups of butter flavored Crisco. Yeah. yeah. Kind of messy. And then two cups of buttermilk. It says add buttermilk and yeast. And here's my buttermilk. Now, I like to warm up the buttermilk because if you don't warm the buttermilk up, it kind of like gets the yeast cold and it doesn't fluff up as well. So, so warming it like in the microwave for a few yeah. seconds is, yeah. is the best. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So then is this starting to get kind of yes. mushy yep. a little bit, yep. maybe? It takes a minute. I've never done this in a mixing bowl before. I've always done it by hand. Really? Always. I've always cut it in with the old cutters and stuff. So I wonder if it's going to be different for you than when you knead it out. Oh I don't know. We'll, we'll see. see the difference. Yeah. Yes, Aiden, do you have a question? Um, what is this? She's going to tell you in a minute. This is when you guys are going to start being able to do your own in just a minute, okay? Yes, ma'am. That's okay. It's okay. Alrighty, so while that's mixing, because that mm -hmm. takes a little bit, right? Yep. You want to get your surface area prepared? Okay. Um, it says on a floured surface. Okay. And what does this flour on the surface do? You guys see what she's putting on the table here? Some flour? This keeps the dough from sticking to the table because it's super, super sticky. But how are you going to not get it on your hands when you take it? Oh, I'm going to get it all over my hands. Yeah, Let's that's check okay it to get, get it all over her hands. Yeah, still a little bit. Thank you. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> we like to get messy around Cooking here. is a lot of work. Cooking is a lot of work. So when that's done, then you'll place dough and knead with hands. Okay. You can feel it. Whoever here has has kneaded dough with their hands? Anyone yet? You have? We'll have to make the homemade wheat bread sometime oh, here. Yeah. The kids would love that. I love that. The kids would love that. So, hold on, listen, listen. While while she's working on that, can you tell us a little bit about? I see your shirt. Yep. Marcy Joe's. Yep. A lot this of my friends here Marcy have been Joe's. to Marcy Joe's, but yes. can you give us just a little recap on history on Marcy sure. Joe's? So me and Joey, which is Indiana's mama, yes, we opened up Marcy Joe's in 2007, which we're coming up on 14 years. Is that yeah. right? 14, years, 14 years in January 19th. And um, so at the time when we opened it up, Joey didn't have a lot going on with her music, you know, so... Joey is a, 
she was a great baker, loved baking breads, um, cakes, pies. And then me, I've cooked in restaurants my whole life. I've done pork chops, fried chicken. So uh, I went to Joey's house one morning for coffee and there was this old building, which is this one, down the road. And I said, Joey, wouldn't it be neat if we opened up a little meet and three, you know, just, mm -hmm. just something between your baking, my cooking, just kind of put our recipes together. And so that's kind of how it come about. Wow. It was really special. And then a couple of years after that, Joey and Rory, uh, you know, started, music started going mm -hmm. and, but it's just been amazing. The so restaurant. I'm guessing it's pretty easy to run a restaurant, isn't it? Easy peasy. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Talk about some of the hard. Talk about some of the hard work because we do a lot of. Listen up, my friends. We do a lot of hard work in the mornings. Sure. Sometimes it's not fun, the chores, you right. know. But it's right. part of what we have to do. Sure. So talk a little bit about your hard work, the the, more, the time you get up in the mornings, everything you do during the day that makes that restaurant run. So we get there super early in the morning, probably about 4:30 in the morning. Ooh. Yep, first thing we do is we turn the ovens on, turn the fryers on, we start prepping for like uh, pancakes, I mean the stuffed French toast. Mm. I mean we, we have a routine every day just to kind of get everything prepared and, and then that way when we open at seven o'clock, we're ready. You're ready we're ready for the customers. But it's a lot, it takes a, it takes a few hours to yeah. get going and so and when then our, when uh, our friends come and eat with eat at your restaurant, mm -hmm. you've been there for hours preparing yes. for yes. to give them a beautiful food. Yep. My friend Henry down here has a question he wants to ask. Yes. Um, I wanted to tell you that um, one time the mom and dad couldn't make dinner, and that's what me and my sister were actually making a soup for food, and I sometimes walk in my garden and somebody needs more fried fish and some gum broth, and then I make this really good broth. Ooh. <laughs> but I'm, I'm sure it was delicious. So our friend Henry was saying how when his parents, not maybe not feeling too well, and so he cooked dinner for them using vegetables out of your garden. And was it hard work? Was it a little hard work to make the stuff, but was it worth it? Because I bet they loved it. That's a very good That's job. Help me chop up the carrot. That's oh, good. Nice. That's good. Yeah, sometimes we need a little help from our parents, and that's great. Yes, CJ? We're gonna, she's about to take it out right now. You guys watch, she's taking out the dough. Mm -hmm. So this is called a dough hook. A dough hook? Like and this hook? mixes up the dough. And uh, like I said, this is um, a first for me making this in the uh, mixer. I've never done it before. I've always done it by hand. All these years, I've always made it by hand. So this is gonna be a first for me. I love That's it. That's good. Doesn't it look so good? It looks like I want to eat it now. Still got a little bit more. Mm-hmm. So now she's gonna work it with her with her fingers. So this is called kneading. I've kneaded dog food before. With really? The, with the uh, with the um, little like spatula. Oh. Huh? That looks good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll have a we'll have a time where Aunt Marcy and Aunt Candy um, come and maybe you guys can do your own kneading and stuff like that. We'll just have a big flower kneading party. Yes. Yay! And then the table will be all good. flowery. Can maybe I'll come do my homemade pictures? bread and everybody can do a little um, loaf. Wouldn't yeah. that be fun? Yeah. Friends at home, if you guys want us to do anything special with Aunt Marcy or Aunt Candy, let us know and, and I'm sure they'll be up for it. Doing all things there, cooking. Yes, ma'am. Oh, you have a question? Oh, Indiana has a question for you, Aunt Marcy. Sure. Um, yes, my, um, I play with um, 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 toys. Yep. Aw, did you go spend some time with Aunt Marcy last night and play with her toys? I love, um, so for those of you who don't know Aunt Marcy, which is Rory's sister, Papa's sister, 
um, lives just walking distance from here. So it's fun that they, y'all do a lot of dinners together, don't do. you, as a family? We do. And get together. Yep. And we sure do, which is really, really special because um, I love to cook. And so does Candy, and she's a great cook, too. And so uh, we do. We spend a lot of time together cooking. That's sweet. That's yeah. sweet. Yes, Aiden? I miss that owl. You what? Miss that owl. Aw. Oh, that's okay. So this is, right, a rolling, this is a rolling pin. The Amish made this for me, which is really, really special. It's beautiful. Uh -huh. So now you're rolling it out? So now I'm going to roll it out. Let me, would you mind taking that for me? I can take Thank it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And when we roll out the dough, you don't want it too, too flat because you want your biscuits to be nice and fluffy. So, you know how like you make cookies, you make it really flat? Well, with mm. this, sticky buns, you're gonna make them pretty thick. See how thick that is? Nice. Yep, and then this, I'm gonna see how I spin it in the flour just a little bit. It keeps the dough from sticking. But look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh wow, that's great. But yeah, that's perfect size right there. And so the sticky buns, I do eight to a pan. We're gonna do two pans today. Okay. They take, unfortunately, they take 35 minutes to cook in the oven at 350. So I went ahead and made one this morning. That way everybody could try a piece. Oh, awesome. So what you're saying is we're going to get to taste test what you're cooking today? Oh, yeah. Oh. What is That's the, always our favorite. What is this and sugar? So that is going to be our next step. We're almost what there. Eating? Aren't these turned out pretty? Those are really pretty. Yeah. What are they eating? They look like cookies. I was kind of worried about doing it in the mixer, but gosh. No, it, it's that was fun. It well, and you st I'm sure it's a, a little bit easier. And oh then my too, gosh! You still got yes. to knead it and touch it with your hands, so you still got that. Would it be easier if whenever you're putting the whenever you're shaking it, the thing pops up and leaves it, then then you, <laughs> ball, then you just pick it up? Would that be easier? Oh yeah, Not. most definitely. All right, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 8 That's and 8 is what? 8 and 8 is what? 8 plus 8 is? 6. Yeah. 6 in total. All right, so let's okay. flip over it. So if we're flipping over now. Oh, yeah. We're going to flip over to sticky buns. Sticky so buns. tell me what we're going to do for sticky buns. Okay, so... Um, melt a half a cup of butter in the microwave, which I did right which here. Which we've done. Add maple syrup, which I've done. Melted butter and oh, oh, that's cool. Okay. Pour onto bottom of bunt pan on top oh, of pecan. This is called a bunt, bunt. pan. Bunt. 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 <laughs> Come on now, Miss Rebecca. Bunt. 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 Let me clarify that for everybody. Bunt. And you got to spray it really bunt. good because these are called sticky buns for a reason because they are sticky. Oh, I think we got to put the, the pecans in first. I, I missed a step. We have sprinkle pecans on bunt cake. Yeah, bunt pan. Nope, I'm just spraying it because. What? All right, so now we're gonna do pecans. And I do a cup of pecans. They're pecans. See? Look how good that looks. And then we're gonna take this. Yeah. Stir it up just a little stir bit. It up and pour it on top of this is melted butter and syrup. Uh huh. Yeah, doesn't that sound delicious? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, I Whoa. love butter. Maple syrup on like Look your pancakes. Look at that. Okay, and then we have four tablespoons of butter melted. It's set aside. I'm sure uh -huh, on, on, on the kids' table. Okay. Yep. Mix sugar and cinnamon together in a small bowl and set Which aside. They do. Very good. Uh -huh. Okay, so now we we're on the flatten out each angel biscuit with your hand. So I'm gonna let you give one, each one to the kids. Awesome. Okay. Oh, I'll know who's ready for their. 
Oh, Isaiah has his hands nicely in his lap. Autumn does too. I do. Just wait. I'm going to come around and give a very nice wait for um, instructions on what to While do. While you do that, I'm going to go ahead and spray another one because I wanted to make two. I love the way dough feels in my hand. Doesn't it feel great? Yeah. It's a great, great texture thing. Okay. My friends over here, you can scoot down a little bit, buddy, if you like. You so what we're going to do with that, Listen, she's once you guys time. get it all, everybody gets a little dough, a biscuit. Okay. Everyone we're, has a biscuit? Perfect. Then we are going to pick it up and flatten it just a little bit, not a lot. Doesn't it feel good? So we're just flattening it a little bit? Yep, you're just gonna flatten it just a little bit. And then in the middle of your table, you've guys got cream cheese. So, so, so see what I'm doing right here? Watch, watch what she's doing. See? Watch what she's doing. And then you're gonna take, will you hand me a little cream? I sure will. You're gonna take a little piece of that. And then you guys are going to put it right in the middle and then fold it, tuck it in just like that. So you only need one, so make sure you only grab one piece. One. I'll, I'll make sure you can, just one. You can give Indiana that one. Grab one. Okay. I would open it up just a little bit more like Aunt Marcy was doing. She opened it up a little bit. Let's see. Maybe a little bit more. Very All right, good, now curl guys. it up. Curl it up. See how I, I put my little uh, cream cheese and then I just folded it up. Very just good. like and that. Fold it. You want me to come around and help you guys? Yeah. yeah. Very good. Now look at it. Look. Just stick it right in there. Make sure you cover it up. Very okay. nice, Henry. Can Very you help me, please? I sure no, will. I think it's look too. at that. See now it now it's now it's hidden inside. Good job. Fold it up so you can't see it. There you go. Perfect. Now. Perfect. Very good. Good job, Mindy. Very good. So basically, what you guys are doing is you're hiding the cream cheese right in the middle. Everybody's doing such a great job. We got some little sure stuff on our hands. Look at that. That's perfect. Sweet. Good this job, buddy. Right oh, you did great. You did great. See? <laughs> there you go. Now what we're gonna do? I wish I had more bowls, but we'll all share. That's okay. We're gonna yeah. take this. Let me take mine. Take this, and we're gonna roll it in the butter. And then we're going to put it in the sugar and just go, woo! Look at that. Yeah, let's do two at a time. All right, yeah. Go ahead. Am I doing it right? Do butter first. Yep. 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 Get it all covered with butter. Good job. Now roll it in your sugar. Oh, that's sweet. Good idea. Yep, you got it. Can I roll it? Can I roll it? Yeah, I can help you. Good job. Okay, now roll it. Alrighty, I'm coming to you boys next, okay? Here, Louis. Yeah, she's coming with the butter on that side. Fingers. Okay, we'll get you this. Um, and then once you get it all covered, plop it right in here, right beside that one. Good job. You did great. Look, you got a little bit left right there. You want to make sure it's covered. Now take it and plop it right in there beside the other one. All right, we're moving on down. Good job. You did great. Good job. Here, dip that in the butter now. Good job, buddy. All right, here we come. Well, sorry. Now roll it in there. Here's your butter. Doesn't it look good? Now go ahead and. Now put it right there beside the other one. Nice. Good job. Good job. Can I, I love it. it. We'll wash your hands in just a second. Yeah, I'll come around with some paper towels and you guys can at least clean them off if you want. I'll get my hands off Okay. No, I don't think you're supposed to eat that much sugar. Yeah, we're not, we're not eating the leftovers. We will um, clean off our hands, okay? Okay. I didn't get the food a little more. 
No, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm coming that way. She's coming to you. Look at me. Right there. Okay. Now let me get another hands. one here. You ready? Plop it right in there. Good job, guys. Gosh, them look so good. Look so good. Wow. I'm super excited. Aunt Marcy, are you okay if I start kind of gathering the leftover sugar sure. and stuff? Okay. Good job, Indy. If not, we're going to have um... All right. So, you guys, that's what it's going to look like when you're all done. It's going to look just like Ooh, that. That looks beautiful. I need to get one more popped right in here. I had a little one. I left it in the butter somewhere. No, I'm coming I'm coming around to collect all of the leftover sugar. This was just a special treat, but we definitely, we definitely don't want to eat. Eat. Here's a couple extra ones. We're gonna. All right, perfect. Now we're gonna put these in the oven. Okay, and hold on my friends, hold on, we're still cooking. We're gonna put it we're in the oven. We're gonna put it in the oven at 350 for 35 minutes. For third, hold on my friends. My friends at home can't hear if you guys are talking. How long, I'm sorry Aunt Marcy. So, here let me set these off. Here. Put them in for 35 minutes on 350. 35 minutes on 350, okay. And then okay. when they come out, I'm going to show you what they look like. Okay, you guys ready to see what they look like when they're done? Yeah. Okay. I made one this morning. Can we take a look at your butt pants? No. Boy, I, I made a big old mess, haven't I? Can we taste it? Let's see what Miss Rebecca says. All right, so let's get this. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, that looks beautiful, Marcy. So look at that. Look at that, you guys. Doesn't it look so good? Oh, you think beautiful. they can have just a little piece? That looks beautiful. That looks so good, doesn't it? So I think... Um, Do you have paper plate? Or we, just a paper plate? Yeah, we have paper. Yeah, we can put some stuff. We can put a little piece on each to let everyone at least taste test just a little bit okay. um, of what they created. Okay. I think that would be great. All right. And what's job. fun about sticky buns is that once you cook them, the angel biscuit, look, you get a little hidden surprise in the middle. Remember? Remember all what you did, the cream cheese? So how many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13, and I always like to give it to the fir first of the kids who are sitting down nicely, ready. Okay, and I'm going to let you, I'm just cutting it in little pieces. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, bless you, 12, 13. Perfect. All right. So, let's take this around. Yes, ma'am. And then here's a little, unless you got a, well. That's okay, I can use that. Can you? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can use that. What, else, what other kind of stuff do you make, Marcy, at Marcy Joe's? So Marcy Joe's is really known for our homemade cinnamon rolls mm. with the cream cheese icing. Has anybody had Marcy Joe's cinnamon rolls before? You have? You have? That's awesome. And then we make a really good stuffed French toast with our homemade bread. Oh, yummy. We stuff it with marshmallow and cream cheese, and we top it with blueberries and strawberries. People love that. People love our homemade biscuits and gravy. We do big old chunks of sausage in our gravy. So people love that. 
The angel biscuits that we made today, that's what we serve for our biscuits and gravy. So that's really special. Uh, do we What's that? Yeah, they're good, huh? Yeah. So what do you guys think? Do you like it? Yeah. yeah. Isn't that great? Oh yeah. yeah. I love it. And so we're open seven days a week at Marcy Joe's. And we're there for breakfast and lunch. And then on Friday nights we serve catfish. Ooh, yummy. That's yeah. But uh, like every day we cook something. Like when I was a little girl, mom always made us like fried chicken, mashed potatoes, corn. And so every day we have a meat and three. So like Wednesday's fried chicken, Thursday's pork chops, Friday's catfish. And then on the weekends we do breakfast all day. And my sister Candy has a restaurant too called Marcy Joe's. And hers is 13 miles from here in town called Columbia, Columbia, Tennessee. Have you been to that, Marcy Joe's? Have you? Did you? Maybe Miss Rebecca would t bring you to Marcy Joe's, the one just right down the road yeah. here. We need, we need to do that where we can do a little field trip, that maybe one afternoon when you're closed, yeah. and you guys can kind of teach them what it takes to run a restaurant, and then we can come sure. back and actually run the restaurant. You can put your feet up. Oh, Let yeah. the kids go to town. Oh, that would be great. I would love that. You need a break, don't you? <laughs> yes. You need a break. I would love that. We'll put you guys to work. I know I've had Indiana yeah. wait tables a couple times down at the restaurant, huh, Indy? Yes, Aiden. So that question? would be fun. Oh, I'd be able to bring another for my mom and dad. For your... Oh, when you go to Marcy Joe's, they can come. Sure, sure, oh. most definitely. Does everyone, would everyone like a little glass of water? Yes. yes. Okay, I will bring. Never mind, I already have my water bottle. There oh, you go. Okay, okay. Yes, I will get everyone some water. Do you guys have any questions for Aunt Marcy? Like, I mean, she's Indiana's I made aunt. Mess. She's Papa's sister. Any anything you want to know? Now's the time to ask. We'll have to see how much what we have. We, we'll have so, to see. Me so me and Joey, which is Indiana's uh, mama, I'm Marcy, and her name is Joe. So Marcy Joe's come from uh, me and Joey, and we put our names together and called it Marcy Joe's. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah. And then also, um, we also have a bakery that's probably maybe, I don't know, three miles from here maybe? Yeah, maybe. And so the bakery, my oldest son, Michael, runs that. And so we do online shipping. They do cinnamon rolls, the pecan sticky bun, anything that there's people from all over the world that order cinnamon rolls, sticky buns, angel biscuits, all kinds of goodies. So that's fun. So that keeps the bakery super busy. So the bakery provides for the other restaurants that we own too. So that's really special. Oh. What's that? My Mimi lives close there. And, Does she? And I went there before. Oh, good. And, and I got some donuts. I'm coming, I'm coming. Ooh. Everyone's going to get water, but I have some friends at home who have I some questions seconds. for you that, sure. I, that I wanted to ask you. I sure. Um, hold on. Oh, no, no seconds today, okay? This is what you get. Um, we've, had, we've had lots of extra sugar today. Um, our friend at home wants to know, Marcy, what is your favorite meal at Marcy Joe's? Oh my gosh, that's a good question. My favorite meal would probably be my pork chops because you know, pork chops, when I cook my pork chops, I fry them in an iron skillet and then I stick them in a little uh, baking dish with a cookie rack and fill it up with water, put the fried pork chops on top the baking dish with a little bit of water underneath, top it with full and cook them for like three hours. Oh, wow. And they just fall apart. So I would say my fried pork chops on Thursday is my favorite. Yummy. Mm. Pork chops are my favorite thing. Yeah. So I, and pork chops, you know what? They're really hard to, like, because they're tough. Right. But I always tell people, you know, when they come in on Thursday for our pork chops, that they can just cut them with fork. Yeah. Yeah. So I need I need to come in on a Thursday because I've yes. been I think every other day to eat. Yes. At your restaurant. Okay. <laughs> we have some more questions. Um, our one of our friends at home wants to know how hard is it to balance and make sure the timing is right while cooking. Meaning, 
How do I avoid burning things? Sister, I, 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 I feel you. I burn things all the time. Marcy, how do you avoid burning things? So I've been doing this for so many years that I have, like, I go in, I start, I, I start prepping for stuff, like, say, um, what's the, what is the first thing? So we make something called a Western omelet. Oh, yummy. And I guess from just doing them so much, uh -huh. you just learn the time frame on it. So when I make the Western omelet, I scrambled eggs, put it in the pan, I add the vegetable, I mean the, yeah, like the onions and all that, then the meat, flip it, put a lid on it, bake it. And so I don't know, it's just all timing. Right. Now baking, that, you know, like baking the sticky buns, sticking them in the oven, putting them on 35 minutes. You got a lot going on in the kitchen at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of timers going off. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like. Yeah. Reminders. Like, yes. ding, 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 yeah. we're done. Yeah. Yes, Magnolia. Um, is, the, is Marcy Joe's running right now? It's running right now. It runs every day. How all is day it? until 2 o'clock. Are you wondering, Magnolia, how is it running without Marcy herself? <laughs> so I have a great crew. I have a cook. His name's Mr. Zach. I have a great waitress. Her name's I, Miss Jenny. I my, my brother's What's, name is Zach. My, is it? My dad's name is Zach. Wow. So maybe you guys can come to the restaurant one day and meet everybody that works at Mercy Joe's. Wouldn't that be fun? That would be super fun. That would be so much yeah. fun. We would love that. So Marcy, um... You may, you've touched on this a little bit about your mom, but where did you learn how to cook? So I guess from working in restaurants my whole life and just watching, watching people prepare food, mm -hmm. you know, watching the cooks, watching the prep cook, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. I was doing washing dishes for a restaurant when I was 14 years old oh, wow. and just watching everybody and the way they cooked and, and got everything ready. I just... You know, it's just something that I just kind of picked up. Wow. And then a lot of it was just being home, having kids of my own, mm -hmm. and then just getting in the kitchen and just thinking of ideas. You know, like, like the pork like chops. Like your own creations. Like just you know, just things. like, how can I make these where they'd be tender? There's got to be a way to do pork, you know? Or, um, and so basically, I would say my mom taught me, you know, a lot, but I would say I taught myself. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that so, like... That's true with a lot of things. When, when you love something sure. and you just want to know, you just yes. got to dive in yes. and, and learn yeah. and sometimes teach yourself. Oh, yeah. So I cook almost every single day at home, at the restaurant. And Rory and Indy come to the house quite a bit. My sister Candy, her husband Keith. And uh, sometimes, you know, I don't even know what I'm going to make until I get ready. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just like start frying potatoes and putting on you know whatever you just get inspiration yeah so you pretty much have to have like stuff in your fridge and cupboards sure. kind of yeah. ready to go for whatever yes. inspires you to and cook. i am a very healthy eater i love to eat really healthy mm. and rory suggested the pecan sticky bun yeah. so <laughs> <laughs> which has been great it's been great because the kids can get their hands yes. dirty yes. like that but yeah. yeah and so that's been fun but i love to cook you know things out of the garden we do a big garden and so i um i love uh you know just eating really healthy because yeah it makes you feel good right you yeah. know when you eat good yeah and so uh but um yeah it's a big difference like when you eat out of the garden yes just, i think yes. for, for us too what we're trying to learn here at school boys and girls is the stuff that we work really hard to grow sure. and take care of, like whether it's our girls that lay eggs or the yes. garden, like we work so hard to make that happen that when you get to enjoy it, it sure. makes it all worth it. It does. And yeah. it makes it so special. Yeah. You know, because you grew it with your own hands. Right. Which I love. I'm getting ready. You can bring the kids over sometime, but I'm getting ready to dig up all my sweet potatoes. Oh, yummy. So they would have fun oh, digging that... in the dirt, trying to find them. Do you guys want to dig up some sweet potatoes with that, Marcy? Yeah. Wouldn't that be fun? Yes, I would love the help too. Where did you? Where? Yeah, really. Where did you plant them? Did you beside my house? At your, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, let us know when you do that. And I will. Bottom, I for sure will. And that'll be a lot. Of, that'll be a big help for me. Oh, good. And it's fun because you never know if you're going to get big ones or small ones or. So it's a lot, a lot of fun. And what are you going to make with those sweet potatoes? What do you, What do you have in so, mind so far? 
I love baked sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd love to bake them. I love to put a little bit of cinnamon on them. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so good. I it's love so to delicious. cut them up and fry them in the iron skillet with a little bit of uh, butter. Oh, so good. I, may, I haven't had breakfast. I'm hungry. So good. <laughs> But yeah, so you can do a lot of different things with sweet potatoes. They're, they're just one of them great, great things. Well, you guys, my friends, oh, hi, you want to see, you want to go see your Aunt Marcy and maybe help her? We are, it's, are you gonna it's help out of, guys, we are out of time. So we want to say goodbye to all of our friends at home right here. Bye, friends at Bye, home. Guys. Check out uh, Marcy Joe's online if you want to know anything else. Friends, here, please say thank you to Aunt Marcy for coming. Well, thank you for having for me, our rare guys. Treat. This has been so much fun. We'll we'll do a non-sugar item next time, <laughs> Papa. <laughs> I want to do my homemade but bread. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. These are challenging times for children and for parents everywhere. Remember that school doesn't just have to be in a building with teachers and desks. School can and should happen everywhere. This program is made possible thanks to the generous support from the Dottie Frist Foundation, the Happy Davis Foundation, Heart Utilities, and viewers like you.